check. Check, check, check. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Songwriting Studio. My name is Dean, and in today's video, we're gonna solve a mystery. We're gonna talk about how I got this sound. Because you see, that sound is actually my voice. So that's what we're gonna be looking at in this quick tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to take your voice and process it in a way that it comes out like this sampled weird but really cool violin. All right, so we are inside of a popped, popped, a popcorn project that I've been working on. I'm really liking the sound of it. And so I'm gonna play the verse section of the song or a little snippet from the verse. And I'm gonna show you how I use this violin processing to create some really cool textures and melodies behind my lead vocal. So let me hit play on it. I can feel the chains breaking out the fall. Every time I lay down I Yes. I'm liking it so far. Can you tell? All right. So <clears throat> what I am doing with this violin lo <laughs> local vocal, I cannot talk today, people. So what I'm doing with this violin vocal is really not that complicated, but let me open up the smart controls window by hitting B on my typing keyboard. And you can see that I have just a little bit of <clears throat> processing here. This EQ is actually just a, uh, a low pass filter. It just kind of makes it sound a little more ambient. So you would take this right here and kind of scoot it down <clears throat> to, I don't know, 2K-ish. And then below that, I have pitch correction on. So if you hit E on your typing keyboard and go to track, I have the pitch correction. I have the limit to key on. I have it up to about 82. That's because <clears throat> just because I want the, the pitch to be very pitch perfect. Then I'm gonna go back. And then lastly, I have some reverb on here. I have the reverb up almost all the way. That's gonna create some of the ambience and space that it, it needs to really have the effect that I'm going for. And then I'm using the vocal transformer, which if you've seen one of the last videos, I did a video about where to find this and how to use it. I really like this, pr this plugin, it comes stock with GarageBand. That's awesome. All right, so what I have done <clears throat> is I have actually pitched up this whole track 24 semitones. So what does that even mean? That means that I've taken that initial note, and if you could see over here on my keyboard, I've gone up two whole octaves from the original note that I sung. So if I was on a D, then I went up a higher D, and even a higher D. So it's super, super almost shrill. And how I was doing it, I was actually recording with one headphone on and one he headphone off so that I could hear what my voice was doing, what notes I was hitting, but then I could also hear a little bit of the effect because it just helped me hear where it was going. So let me play some samples, examples, and then I'll talk about how I use them just a little bit more in detail. So hit play. Come down to when I sing. I can feel the chains breaking out the fall. So if I solo that, it sounds like like it sounds like a violin, that is so crazy. But if I take that same thing and I move it down into a different track that doesn't have the vocal transformer, you can hear me. And then I've just simply pitched it way up. Chains breaking out the fall. And it sounds so nice. And what that does for me, as far as a production uh, trick, is it just creates some uniqueness. It creates interest. It creates this melodic uh, uh, thing that really just helps add to the song so much. And so I've used it in a variety of ways. I even used it here in the chorus. So I will show you that as well. Let's get away, let's get away, let's get away, let's get away. So you can hear it in the background. And I'll admit it is not flattering by itself, but that's that's not the point. The point is how does it fit in context? And in context, it really creates a nice melody here. Let's get away, let's get away, let's get away, let's get away. <laughs> and uh, as usual on this song, uh, the lyrics are coming later. These are not the final lyrics. I just start singing a melody and then I typically will find the lyrics later most of the time, sometimes I'll start with lyrics first. So so play around and, and you really need to put this on and play around with your voice and sing different things and see how it'll fit and flow.
I bet you could have a lot of fun with this. All right guys, so in closing this video, I wanna let you know that I actually have a free five part mini course called the GarageBand Quick Start Guide. And this mini course is all about showing you how to get started in GarageBand, how to start writing, recording, and producing your own music. So if you wanna jump into my free mini course, then check out the link in the description. And I'll be upfront with you and say that if you're jumping into the course, number one, you're becoming an email subscriber here at the Songwriting Studio, but I won't send you any junk mail because I don't have any junk mail to send you. I'll just let you know about new video tutorials, new courses, and new music that's coming out. And then beyond that, if you jump into the free course, you're also going to get the opportunity to step into the full 25-part video course, which is my best-selling course and has over 3,000 students around the world. So there you have it. I like to be upfront with you guys in advance. Beyond that, dive into that mini course, dive into this video tutorial, and I'll see you in the next video.